A look at System Center Service Manager Beta 2. My name is Mark Umeno and I am the Senior Program Manager on the Service Manager team. Today I'm happy to show you how Service Manager, through the power of its integrated platform, orchestrates people, process, and technology across the Microsoft platform. Service Manager automates and adapts IT service management best practices to your organization's requirements. It provides built-in processes based on industry best practices for incident, problem, and change control, and automatically connects knowledge, information, processes, and activities from System Center Operations Manager, System Center Configuration Manager, and Active Directory. Today, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how Service Manager integrates with Operations Manager by creating incidents from alerts, as well as creating um, configuration items and services from objects discovered by Operations Manager. Here you see the Service Manager console in the Administration Workspace um, under Connectors. There are two connectors set up to sync with Operations Manager, an Operations Manager Alert connector, and an Operations Manager CI connector. Now uh, let's switch over to the Operations Manager web console and we see a distributed application set up called HR Web. HR Web has some websites associated with it including uh, and some databases and Active Directory. Um, to simulate an outage let's stop the payroll website using uh, the task um, associated with that in uh, Operations Manager. And what that did was stop the website and then um, that uh, status was rolled up into uh, the HR Web application and um, an alert was generated with an Operations Manager. So here you see that um, if we refresh the view that the Operations Manager console shows an alert created about that website. Because there are connectors associated with uh, this operations manager installation, that alert will be forwarded and, crea and create an incident in Service Manager. So in addition to alerts uh, that are created into incidents, there's also um, configuration items that have been brought over via the operations manager configuration item connector. So in this case, we have uh, some components that were brought over, such as databases here and websites. There's the payroll um, website that we um, just stopped. And there's also the HR web website. In addition to components, there's also um, services that are brought over. So as the configuration item connector brings over distributed applications, we um, convert those into services and service manager. So if you click edit, you can open up the form for the service and you see that there's a number of business related uh, fields that have been filled in um, f just for the purposes of service management, including uh, the classification of the application, uh, what the statuses were. Um, you also see that there are a number of uh, users associated with it, including the service owner, the person that's responsible for the service. Uh, who to contact if the service goes down, and uh, the customers are who's um, uh, from the business side uh, paying for the service, and finally um, what groups are affected by the service or are using the service. If you click on the service components tab, you see that the components that were in the um, dis ops manager distributed application have been brought over as um, items within this service map. And you see that there is an, uh, an indication that there's an incident associated with the payroll uh, component. And if you click on that, you see that all the different uh, items that have been related in the past and also currently are associated with that website. So um, now let's open up the form for the payroll site and we can see a little bit more information about that. As you can see, the Operations Manager CI connector has brought over some data from Operations Manager. And if you click on the Related Items tab for that website, you can see that there's a list of work items that have been generated um, against this website in the past. And there's one right now. So if you click View, 
you can quickly get to the current incident that was automatically generated when we stopped the website. So you can see that a number of fields have been uh, filled in so and automatically populated by the operations manager connector. And you can see there the source for that incident was operations manager. There are also um, configuration items that were automatically associated with that uh, including the computer om.woodgrove.com as well as the payroll website itself. So um, you can go and go to the work items view and select uh, the operations manager incidents and click the resolve task to um, resolve the incident as the incident has been analyzed. So in the comments you say website you can say website needed to be restarted and the issue is now fixed, resolved, click OK and that'll clear that incident from um, being an active incident. So if we refresh the view you can see that it went away and if we go back to operations manager and we refresh the view we can see that that Operations Manager Alert Connector can actually go in both directions and go back to Operations Manager and resolve an alert in Operations Manager. If you uh, go back to the service map form, you also see that the um, incident has gone away from the payroll website. So in this uh, demonstration, we were able to see the effect of Operations Manager connectors and how they are used in Service Manager.